What's hey, up? what's up? Hi. Um, I have a question for you. You're, you're, you're in this, right? Yeah. So, why, uh, why do you, why do you, why do atheists bring multiverse hypothesis as a counter argument to fine tuning when we don't have shred of evidence to to this to this theory? Possibly infinite universe, right? We don't have a shred of evidence, but we, we take it. I don't out. know what you're talking about. Um, you know about the fine fine tuning, the irreducible complexity. In the, in the, it's like a yeah. po positive, uh, very po yes, positive. Yes, fine tuning. Is, what do you mean? It is. If if a positive one represents variation in atoms, it would be. I don't know. What you're asking me. Okay, the fine. Okay, what about the fine tuning argument? Why is you're asking me why a certain set of atheists run some type of critique that I have no clue what you're talking about? I don't know. I don't even know the critique you're talking about atheists using. Ask the atheists who use the argument. Uh, so you know about the uh, multiverse thesis because there would there is a. No, do you think I should believe God exists? Um. Yes. No. Evidence. Okay. Well, for what reasons? Because I believe irreducibly complexity would fall apart at some point if the, if it has no. It, it should. It's complicated enough uh, not to have unintelligent transcendent agency. What facts would motivate me to believe if some set of facts were true that they make me believe God exists? What facts there are required to? infer the existence of God. I, That's what a reason is supposed to be. What reasons are had to have me believe in God? Name a reason. What do you expect? What do you take as evidence? You want God? Can you just answer the question? I did. I'm giving you evidence that... So what is the reason? The universe is complicated enough not to have a transcendent agency. There is a designer. In the universe is that. complicated? Why would I think from yeah. that that there's a God? Um, okay, um, let's just say the universe is complex. Why then would I think there's a God? Uh, because I don't believe uh, something that, that doesn't have a cognitive power to, to do such a thing, uh, just out of chaos, basically. What? What are you responding to? Like, what I ask is, why, given the fact the universe is complex, would I think that there's a God? Because with our... In in my experience, I know I can Look, tell. You can believe the universe is complex and believe there's also not a god, right? So there has to be additional steps to be taken. It's not entailed from the fact the universe is complex that there's a god. So okay, so so granted the universe is complex, why then would I think there's a god? That's not sufficient reason. Um, what are you? What is your your counter argument then? Are you just dismissing it? There's not even an argument there. I told you it would, if something is irreducible. Like, you made the claim that if the universe is complex, then God exists. I'm asking why should I believe that? Because it's not an argument. That's a proposition. And I'm asking what reasons would I have to believe that? It's not that a proposition anymore. because we see it in our experience. The proposition, look, that is a proposition. That's a conditional statement, right? It's if P, then Q. If the universe is complex, then God exists. That is a proposition. What do you mean that's, what are you saying? What do you, what do you mean that's not a proposition? Uh, um, it's not an argument. Well, that's a conditional statement. Okay, I'm asking why would I believe that? Because we can see it in, in our experience. If some, we, we can tell if something is designed by a rational being or not. We can see whether a thing is designed by a rational being. By why think the universe is designed? Okay, okay. So we can see a set of things are designed by human beings. Why yeah, then would I think? Because we are the only because rational. Because we can see stuff. We're going. Where are you getting to God? What? Look, you said that we can understand what humans created. And then you're saying that the universe is complex and that's the reason to believe in God. I'm asking why. Um, because it's for some for such type of thing to happen, there must be uh, an intelligent person with a mind, or an intelligent being with a mind to design it. Okay, so you're saying in order to have complexity, it's required there's an intelligent agent. Why would I think that? Yeah, irreducible complexity, yes. Why would I think that? Because uh, logically, it would fall. It, it should have fall apart at some point. What are you? What are you saying? What should fall apart? Well, oh my goodness, this guy! Are you can't be serious right now. Look, I said, why would I think see, if human? If, look, I asked, why would I think if the universe is complex that there's a god? Then you said because in order for there to be for there to be complexity, there has to be some irreducible intelligent agent 
that I con- that explains the data. Then when asked why, you just said, you know what it, well, it, it, it has to reduce. No, you know what I what I'm. Uh, uh, why would I think that there has to be an intelligent agent behind the complexity? Because from from um, if something if this universe is created by something that doesn't have a cognitive power, it should fall apart at some point. And why would I think that? Because it doesn't have cognitive power, and we see it. That's a question, Megan. I asked, why would I think it would fall apart if it doesn't have cognitive power? In fact, that's you, affirming the oh antecedent. Goodness, can you follow me? Because we're I mean, affirming beings, the consequence. In this universe, we are, all, we are the only beings with rational beings. Look, why would, I believe, why would I believe if there's not a mind supervening over the complexity of the world, that the world would fall apart? That was your claim. I'm asking, why would I believe it? And then you just begged the question by saying, because there's no intelligent agent. That doesn't tell me why I would think if there is no intelligent agent, the universe would fall apart. So how can this, uh, oh my goodness. Don't ask me a question, provide me the reason. Why would I think if the universe is complex, that it has to have an agent for which it wouldn't fall apart? And or why would I think if there was no agent that the universe would fall apart? Because um, something, a being, a, trans- a transcendent being is more likely with a mind to, to create something that is complex enough. I'm asking you, you're confused about my question. What I'm asking is why would I think if there is no agent that the universe would fall apart? What are you what are you expecting from me then? Like I'm providing you with evidence. An answer. I, what? I'm expecting an answer. Yes, I'm trying my best to answer you, but I don't know what Okay, so why would I think if there isn't an agent supervening uh-huh. over the world that the world would fall apart? What was the answer to that? Because a being with mind is more likely to create something irreducibly complex. I'm not talking to you. I'm not asking you about whether it's more likely a God explains a complex world. You said the reason I think that if there's no, the reason I think that if there's um, complexity or requires well, an agent is because if there isn't an agent, you said because if there isn't an agent, then the world would fall apart. So I'm asking, why would I think if there's no agent, the world would fall apart? That's what, that's the question I'm asking. Because it's, it doesn't have cognitive power. Okay, so why would I think if it doesn't have cognitive power, it would fall apart? Um, it, because if the, if it doesn't have a cognitive power, it wouldn't create something irreducibly complex out of out of just chaos. What are you talking about? I just give you an answer. What do you think? Why would I think? I don't understand your answer. Can you repeat it? Wait, let me think. I forgot what I said. Yeah, look, I'm still not understanding why is it required that there's an agent for which the world wouldn't fall apart. (sighs) And because you said it doesn't have cognitive power, then asked, why if the world doesn't have cognitive power, or there's not some cognition supervening over the world that the world would fall apart? And that's what I'm asking for an answer for. Um, like because accident couldn't come to this degree. We're not talking about accident. It is accident because it's. It, if what do you mean by accident? It, by accident, no, do you just mean unintentional? Um, without no intelligent being. Okay, so if there's no intelligent being, then what? If there's no intelligent being, we consider it to be accident, right? My my point is, my point is, accident couldn't come to this to this degree based on how why would I based think on that? the complexities where we humans could possibly create. And why would I think that? Because we can take ourselves as an evidence. How is ourselves evidence for that? Because we have rational mind. Don't you believe Okay, that? so how's that evidence for the claim you made? Because only a rational so a being with a rational being, a, a rational mind, can only Look, create. You just said that only that a world this complex can only be made by a non-human and rational agent. Now, when I asked for why would I believe that, the support was well because we have a set of humans that explain certain complexities in the world. Do you not see how your induction is overgeneralizing? 
that's aired. You're going from the inductive sample space of humans inferred from a non-human agent, and that's motivation to think that this complexity is explained. I can have reason to think the next computer I come across would be made by a human, because this past set of my priors would indicate that in every instance in the inductive pool of priors, that those were made by humans. So I can infer that there's a human. What I can't infer is that it's a non-human rational agent. Why can't so you? So if you're going to make an inference from the set of from the set of humans, then you'd only infer that it's it's likely that a human agent explains it. What? Can you can you explain what the part? What? That this is what? basic induction. Look, you, you're invoking okay. evidence, and you don't know how evidence operates. In Bayesian mm. reasoning, we we operate from priors, and oh, priors it's not, is the web it's of not, experience. This is not, this is not even uh, deductive reasoning, right? Like, uh, I, I yeah, mean, we're aware. I just we can, why we bring can up, establish our why are you bring up irrelevant premise. stuff? No one's talking about deduction, are we? Who who are you telling we're not talking about deduction? Are you talking to someone behind me? Because I didn't invoke induction. I I made it very clear we're talking about induction, right? You talked about. What you're trying to do is evidentially support the proposition. And then you said the reason to believe that the universe is going to be made by a rational agent is because the universe is complex and that in our in our prior certain complex items were made by humans. That's that's just an arid inference. You would infer that unless you're making the inference, it's likely a human explains the, the world, the universe's complexity. Then I don't know what type of inference you're trying to make. Can't be an inductively supported one because you're appealing to the pool of human. Um, but what we are not able to do is we is there any other ra is there any other rational agents in the sample space that develops complex things other than humans? Yes. Okay. So, what other agents? Um, Jesus. Non-question begging ones. Like you... obviously. And also, Jesus is a is a human. It's God incarnate, but. What is one that doesn't appeal to dog? <laughs> Look, if, you, if the inductive inference that supports the proposition God exists includes the element of God, right? God incarnate as one of the members in the sample pool to inductively infer God. That's clearly question begging. I don't know why you would say something so stupid. Look, what other, what other than human agents in your experience are responsible for complexities? Um, like, like phones? A phone isn't an agent. Didn't you say a complex thing that was created by, by... I said, what other than human agents explain complex things in your experience? Nothing. That's why I'm taking... Okay, human. nothing. So only humans... Okay, so then you can only infer that it's likely... If some entity is complex, then it's likely a human explains it. That would be the inference. Now, you don't want to say it's likely humans explain the complexity of the universe. Wait. Then, if we if we are just if if you if you say if we are a byproduct of this universe, um, and we can't infer it to the main premise, if I got you correctly, then what is the main premise? premise? What are you like, talking about? Why 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 do you who defines the morality if we are not able to infer? What are you talking about? What what is your you understanding said, of the, of the conversation not, right now? You said. There is a premise, and when we proceed to the middle part, you said you can't infer it to the main. Uh, We're not talking premise. about premises. I don't know how it works. Then there is deductive. Look, and inductive. You just you, said you're not you using deductive, deductive reasoning. reasoning. You made right? that clear. So why are you bringing up premises? Yes, you made it clear We're using an evidential argument. We're not able to establish a foundation with this inductive reasoning. So that's why I'm trying to continue. Then why with bring the up? What are you talking about? So are you just saying the inductive reasoning? that you brought up from the onset is just insufficient to support the, the proposition you aim to support, then why, I don't understand, why would you bring up like some method of reasoning that, that doesn't actually support your claim? Just I am trying it that way because we've been trying it. Through this. Like you said, there's evidence that if um, the world is complex, then it requires an agent because if there's no agent, then the world would fall apart. And why would the world fall apart if there's no human agent? Because there's no cognition. Why, if there's no cognition, the world would fall apart? Because there's evidence. What's the evidence? All humans, every complex item in our, in our experience is made by humans. Why would every item of complexity made by humans support that if there's no cognition supervening over the world, the world would fall apart? 
does not do anything to support that unless you're because making the inference. Unless being you're being making it more, look, the inductive it's more likely to to create something. The article of induction you appeal to, but look, the article of induction you appeal to is if there's some complex entity, then it's likely a human explains that. Now, unless you're arguing that it's likely a human explains the universe's complexity, then I don't understand how that's evidence for that. Well, this is how I see it. Um, they, I mean, what I'm just saying is, they are more likely to create something that would f that wouldn't fall apart based on their intelligence. And they is referring to who? Human beings. Yeah, but your your argument is not that it's likely the human that human beings explain the world's complexity, right? If not, then why are you bringing up like something that doesn't doesn't support your your claim? Um, well, the, this <laughs> well this supports my claim. What supports your claim? Human beings. Is your argument that human beings likely explain the universe's complexity? No, but why can I not infer? So then why so why are you why are you appealing to something that doesn't support your view? Why can I not? I mean you can, right? But if you're if you aim to support the claims you make in this conversation, then you're wasting time by giving things that don't support it. You feel free to not give supporting reasons for the propositions i thought you aimed to support your claim and if that's not supporting it that's why i'm asking why you're bringing it and then you responded with a question of well why can't i you can't give non-supporting reasons okay and then in light of the fact that J jesus is coming to earth we can we can proceed to going this way of finding out uh the universe the universe complexities of uh, using human beings as an evidence that we can take this path of finding out yeah, but you said you're not... Look, the evidence you appealed to was a sample pool of humans explaining complexities, and then you admitted your argument is not that it's likely humans explain the universe's complexity. So humans then wouldn't explain, wouldn't be evidence for that. Yes, because we don't have any rational being that can think and love each other in this universe. We, that's why we are able to infer and not a random a star in the universe. What are you talking about? What I said was that you appealed to humans, and then you said humans don't support your argument. So I don't understand the appeal to humans. What? Look, if I said, if I said, what's the reason I believe God exists, and then you said that the fact there's a cake on the table, and then I say, and then we argue about whether there's a cake on the table, and then after you substantiate there's a cake on the table, we get to why if there's a cake on the table, would I think God exists? And you say, well, the cake on the table does nothing to support the existence of God. Why would you? Why would you give that? I don't understand. You're just wasting Why, my time. What if there is what if there is a being like the the creator within the cake that functions the same way, but not? What, in, oh my what are you God. saying? What if there is a being with a rational being with a rational mind or different in the cake that functions the same way, like the creator? How can we not infer? Like how can we not use? the creator of the cake based on the little things within the cake that function the same way, if that makes sense. No, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand what you're asking. So we're talking about, we're taking cake as a universe and a creator of the cake, right? So when we, within the cake, try to find, to find out about this transcendent being, why can we not take the human being or the thing that are trying to find out within the cake about the universe that functions the same way as those things within the cake. I still don't know what you're asking me. I don't know how to frame it, but... Look, do you maybe have any other actual supporting reasons to believe God exists then? Yeah, Jesus Christ, I, I, I take him as an evidence. We wanted to come to that to that argument. If you're not Jesus Christ is evidence that God exists. Okay, granted, let's just say Jesus exists. Why then would I think God exists? Because based on what he did, um, he might uh, he based on what he claimed, saying that he came down to earth in human form and claimed to be God. It is possible for him. Uh, why would I believe that claim, though? 
because、um, there, there were eyewitness accounts. And eyewitness account is a form of historical account. Eyewitness accounts of what? Of, of the living in the res- res- resurrection of Jesus and what he claimed. Okay, let's just say Jesus resurrected and Jesus existed. Why would I then think God exists? Because he claims to be God coming in human form. And why would I believe the claim, but why would I believe the claim that he's God in human form? Because he,、um, he did, he, because death is a miracle. It's something that cannot happen. And,、uh, um, you mean resurrection is a miracle? Resurrection, I mean.、Uh, him, him resurrecting is a miracle. Okay, so he resurrected and he claimed to be God incarnate. Why would I believe the claim he's God incarnate? I can believe he resurrected、because、and not believe was, he's God incarnate. Because he was able to, to function those things like human beings. To, Now, granting he resurrected, right? I can believe he resurrected and that he's not God incarnate. So, why would I believe from the fact he. Okay, I can grant all the miracles he performed were real, and I can still not believe a God exists, right? So, why would I believe from the miracles he performed that he's God incarnate? Why would I believe that? Because he was able to change the functions of human beings, like to, to, to bring the. Like, he performed miracles, right? You're just saying he's. Yeah, was, I, yeah why would I believe because he performed miracles?、Beings. Yeah, I'm saying, why would I believe because he performed miracles that he's God? Because it's extraordinary to, to control the weather. Okay, yeah, to, miracles to, are extraordinary. Why would I think because he performed extraordinary stuff he's God? Because God only can perform extraordinary stuff. And why would I think that? Because it's, it's defined as, as his part of essence in nature. No, God can't only, is, God is not potentially the only thing that can perform extraordinary feats. Well, I don't、what、know why you think that. What, what can then? Well, maybe unless you're conceptually impoverished, I can think of nearly infinite. Maybe Jesus、what? is a wizard and he desires to fool humanity of a false religion. That's a possibility. And in his magical abilities, he's able to abrogate the laws of nature. So that's how he performed the miracles. That accommodates and accounts for the data and accommodates the fact that he's made the claims that he was God incarnate. So, that hypothesis that Jesus is a deceitful religious wizard explains the data that you have offered、um, with the same number, or actually almost as equal explanatory power in accommodation. So, why would I think that I can also say Jesus was an alien? And in this alien's anatomy, as the ability to resurrect or as advanced technology that brought it back to life, ad- advanced technology that made it seem like it was visually human. I can think of pretty much infinite so, competing histori- hypotheses. Why like, would I think it was that? Historically,、God? throughout in the in the, in the writer, you know, no. Look, obviously, the point is that if God performed,、uh, sorry, Jesus performed miracles, that doesn't mean God exists. Obviously, the point is that if God performed,、uh, you get it by headphones. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Like, obviously, it's the case that if Jesus performed miracles, it doesn't mean that God exists. Okay, so、uh, based on the Old Testament, that they, they know, they, they claim that there Look, is a life after the world, right? So, okay, let's just say that if, if all the miracles true, God did. But look, you said the reason to believe God exists is because Jesus performed miracles. And I can accept that Jesus performed and miracles and not believe there's a God. Yeah, that's dead, one of his miracles. Is the okay, so now why would, I, why would I think that God exists? No, he, Besides the fact that he rose from the dead and、um, he, there、I'm、is the fact that he was. Old, okay. No, no. He is the only person to know what happens life after death. Like after, after death, he's the only person to know that. Okay. And、Then、why would is, I think that he is God incarnate? Because it, it is promised in the Old Testament that Jesus will come by God. Why would I be- <laughs> Look, but why would I believe there's a God? You said, look, now you're just saying because it's promised by God that Jesus will come, which just presupposes Christianity is true. I'm asking, why would I believe? Because you, initially you said the reason I believe that Jesus is God is because Jesus performed miracles. Then I asked, why would I believe if Jesus performed miracles, he's God? Then you said, because God said it in the Bible that Jesus will come back, which pre- obviously, if Mario says, if, if someone shoots fireballs from their hand, and I say, that means he's Mario, and I say, no, there can be wizards, he could be a wizard. And I say, why would I think from him shooting fireballs he's Mario? And then you say, well, in、um, this data book from Super Mario, 
Super Mario said that he will go to an Italian restaurant in New York and shoot a fireball. And this guy's in New York in, a, in an Italian restaurant. And I said, yeah, but that's compatible with him being a wizard who likes Italian food. And I say, well, so then why would I think it's Mario? And then you just repeat the same thing that's question begging. Look, throughout this entire conversation, all you've done was beg the question. You're not giving me unique or soy generous reasons that actually motivate the claims you're making. At this point, you're parroting yourself and not understanding that repeating the claim is not a reason to believe it. And then you're thinking that certain sources asserting claims, claims is reason too. Look, Jesus in the Bible asserting that he's God is not evidence he's God because he performed miracles. He can be, he can be a wizard and perform miracles and lie. So why would so I think he's God from the fact he's doing these events, these miraculous events? Can you give me one example like that, that rose from the dead? It, like someone who knows what happens after death? Give you an example of what? You, you said uh, you mentioned some type of being that can perform a miracle. and I said there you, can be a number of hypotheses that explain why Jesus is performing miracles. It doesn't follow because he performed the miracles. He's God. That can also mean he's a wizard. I would suspect that a wizard can part the Red Sea, right? Miracles that occur in the Bible. If I grant all the miracles in the Bible, Jesus, you know, healing a blind dude, helping a paraplegic, getting away whatever it was, the, the disease of the skin that would rot, him resurrecting, that can all be performed by, by a wizard. So that accommodates the facts that Jesus performed miracles. It doesn't so, follow that if you've done these things that he's God, because a wizard can equally do these things. A wizard can put a curse on themselves that allows them to revive once they die, like but what if what, what if his action is what if his action coincide with what with what can with God with what can God can do? What Jesus? Can Why would I think that he's God then? Uh, because okay, God can do those stuff. Why would I think it's God then? Because we're presupposing that there is God. No, we're not. You're supposed to be inferring God. Then why are why, you why thinking you be, the Why are you arguing? Look. Because I can grant you the miracles exist, and that's not a reason I think there's a God. That's why. Yeah, that's what I've been asking. I asked, why would I think if some dude named Jesus who had, had in the past historically performed miracles, would I think that there's a mind that created the universe? And that him claiming that he is God is an evidence of that. Because someone who, a wizard who also can do those same acts, who desires to deceive what people that, that he's God. What Healing act? a blind what? person. What? The miracles Jesus performed, those acts. I don't, what, how you lost about what acts? Account, tell me what, a, what, what, a, if they're evidentially true. The miracles that Jesus performed, those who, acts. Who, who are these people? What do you mean? I said Jesus. The acts Jesus performed. What do no, you mean these people? Who that are didn't these come out people my mouth. who performed that Jesus, the acts that Jesus performed? I'm saying, look, we have the fact that Jesus performed miracles, correct? You're saying that's yes. explained because he's the son of God. Yes, I'm saying no. That can, true, but you're supposed. And I'm asking why would I think that? that I'm asking true. why would I think that? Because I'm not assuming not, anything. No. I'm asking why would I think that? Because it's not. Uh, it's not a hypothetical question that Jesus actually de did this thing. It's. It actually happened. I'm granting you he did these things. Okay. I'm asking why would I then think that what explains the fact Jesus is doing these acts is that he's the son of God rather than him being a wizard. Oh, what What did these a uh, wizard? Things do that that like matches what Jesus did. Jesus is a wizard. That's the hypothesis. The hypothesis is Jesus is a wizard who desires wizard? to deceive people. He's the only wizard. Yes. Well, I I disagree with you then. Look, you're saying the fact that Jesus performed miracles is explained by God. Why think it's explained by God rather than wizardry? That's not what. You, that's what you're failing to understand. You're not offering an account. You're just saying, well, he did these acts that are miraculous, therefore God. No, I can, in folklore, wizards can do uh, these same acts too. These miraculous events can be performed by wizards. So to say the fact that he's performing miraculous acts indicates he's God is not true, because that can also indicate he's either a wizard. So now we have two competing hypotheses to explain the fact that Jesus performed miracles. Either he's a wizard who is lying, or he's God. And that's those aren't the only two hypotheses. But I'm trying to understand why would I think that he, the hypothesis that J Jesus is God explains the fact that he's performing miracles and you're not offering an account. And in fact, it doesn't even seem you're tracking the fact that I've been asking that for ages. Look, if your friend randomly, let's say your friend unalives and he resurrects, you're not going to think he's the son of God, right? No, you wouldn't. Okay, so then what would explain that fact? Now, it could be that he's the son of God. That that maybe, the, the, maybe all the past events in the Bible are just wrong. 
I don't know. Look, the point is there's multiple things that can accommodate the fact that your friend resurrected. Maybe there's fairies that desire to resurrect your friend. Maybe your friend was secretly an alien and maybe a spaceship that's hovering over the world beamed an invisible beam that resurrected him. Maybe he's a wizard who cursed himself and came back to life. Maybe another thing. Maybe he's a, a shapeshifter. Maybe he's a he's a superhuman. He has superpowers to just resurrect. He's immortal. There can be there's infinite things that can explain the fact that he's resurrecting. Same with Jesus. And you're saying what explains the fact that he's resurrecting is that he's God. I'm asking, why would I think that? I don't know in what kind of way. So, what if this thing has been spoken throughout in, in the in the in the Old Testament that there I'm is? you also spoken. Him. Huh? Okay, I'm granting you all that. It's said all the stuff in the Bible is said. Why, why would I care? How's that reason to think God, Jesus is God? Okay, what did this this wizard, so-called wizard see what happened after death when they die? What are you talking about? If there is um, a teaching or in the in the Old Testament that there is life after death, hell and heaven, and if Jesus Christ died and he's the only person to know what happened after death, then... Uh, and if you confirm it to be true, why would... Why he didn't would, confirm it to be true. He asserted it to be true. Because why would no I believe the assertion? Because no one died and rose from the dead. Okay, that's not confirmation of the claim. Look, if someone can travel at the speed of light, and he's the only person who can travel at the speed of light, and you ask him, how does it feel when traveling at the speed of light? He can give you any report. Right? He can give a false report of how it feels to go at the speed of light. So let's say he deceives you, and unbeknownst to you, he's deceiving you and giving you this mental imagery of how it feels traveling at the speed of light. And then you tell me what he told you. And I ask, why would I think that that's how it feels? And then you say, well, because he's the only person who could travel faster than light, so it must be true what he's saying. No, he could be lying. There's a infinite other ways. Look, there's not reason to think because he's asserting it. it's true. Just because he's the only person who could travel at the speed of light doesn't make his assertions of how it, how it feels to travel at the speed of light true. Obviously, that doesn't follow. You have to be like brain dead to think this. Okay, let's say he's the only person. Maybe you have maybe you have stronger credence in him. You know, maybe there's stronger. Obviously, there's higher credence in his anecdote of traveling at the speed of light, given he's the only one who's ever done it. But that doesn't make what he's saying true. So I'm asking, why would I think what Jesus is saying is true? Because again, it's, it's compatible. It's Jesus is lying and is a wizard. That that's possible too. Okay, let's 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 since you don't believe it, let's assume that there is a God, right? So this God can control everything within the creation, right? Right? Okay. So if if Jesus said if if, if he ordered for the for the hurricane, let's say, to stop, and it stopped, and he claimed he claimed that he is a God in human form, why wouldn't that yeah, why would I think that claim? Because because the, the creation Because the claim's unsupported. Because the claim's unsupported. Which claim? The claim he's got is unsupported. It's supported by the fact that he he's ordered it and it stopped. And God is... No, look, if, let's say Jesus, look, if Jesus had powers to control the weather, we would also think he can stop the hurricane. So now, if it's actually true that Jesus had superpowers, that, that also explains that fact. So what if Jesus is just a person with superpowers who's lying about where his powers derived? The derivation of his power isn't God. He was just born biologically with superpowers. That's a possibility. Well, I so don't it's know. not true. It's not if true. Creating a possibility, then we we might even not. Yeah, be you're also we're offering a possibility. possibility. You're also offering a possibility, and you're not giving me reasons to think that possibility is true. Saying that that what explains the fact Jesus resurrected is God is just a possibility. There's other possibilities that explain that fact. Why would I think it's God? Oh my goodness! Then, like we we couldn't we couldn't have like a productive dialogue. Then, if you if you if you're how come if you're making a lot of possibilities. So, do you think? Then why you, would you claim? Look, there's a set of possibilities that explain one fact. You're saying one fact is explained by a particular possibility. I'm asking why think that, 
And then now you're crying because because I'm, I'm I'm illuminating to you that there's a set of other possibilities that can explain the same fact. Because there's it just there, seems like you're crying. We didn't find we didn't find other possibilities that explained. It seems that you're just crying because you you don't actually have no, a reason to think this possibility look, have, over others. I literally couldn't. I I lose my train of thoughts. Right. I'm trying to gather, but my 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 point is there isn't other possibility that explained the creation. There isn't. Yeah. Look, let's say Jesus resurrected. If someone had the superpower to resurrect, we would also think, and let's say it's Jesus had that superpower, we would also expect after crucifixion, he, he would resurrect, right? We would expect that. So that can explain that fact that he's resurrected. He had, he had resurrecting superpowers. Okay. Give, give me yeah, one. So there's, since, there's, since, there's, a, since this possibility is a fact. I never said it's a fact. Well, historically, it is. Look, you're saying that it's exp you're saying the reason Jesus resurrected is God. I'm asking why would I think that? And then you said because that's the only thing that can explain it. And I said that's not true. I showed you how if Jesus had the power to resurrect, he would resurrect. If he had a superpower to resurrect, he would resurrect, and he wasn't God. So now I just showed you. I showed you a multiple. I showed you almost like half a dozen different hypotheses. So I'm asking why I think God, and now you're just hung up there. Look, we would also think the same fact would happen if he wasn't God and he had the power to resurrect. The same fact would happen. If he just was deceiving people, let's say he, 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 if he was schizophrenic too, if he was schizophrenic and thought that because he had superpowers that he was actually the son of God, that's a possibility too, right? Those things explain the exact same fact. You're saying the reason I think God exists is because Jesus performed miracles. If Jesus had superpowers, he can also do those same miracles. So it's not entailed from the fact he's doing these events that that means God exists. That can either also mean that he has superpowers instead, and he's lying, or he's schizophrenic, or he's an alien with advanced technology, or he's a wizard, or he's a, he's a sh I don't know, some other entity. But, but your, your possibility never happened. <laughs> Wait, look, That's a question, that Megan. Look, to say that it never happened, happen. to say that the hypothesis is not true, would just require you to present an argument. So what is the other possibility of, of someone performing? The other, the other possibilities for Jesus resurrecting is that he's a wizard and that he cursed himself and he put a curse mark to resurrect. He could be an alien and his UFO that's hundreds of light years away, beam to beam, the child fat, like significantly faster than the speed of light, like shot him and resurrected him. It can also be that Jesus is, I don't know, um, has superpowers that he also resurrected that's one of his superpowers we can also we can either have the one that he has superpowers and he's lying he has superpowers and he's schizophrenic and actually does believe that he's the son of god and so he's not lying he's, he's actually giving a genuine report given he's mentally ill and just has the power to do what he can but my my belief is so why would i think it's, it's god but so my belief is, I will take it into account as a god if something has a cre has a control. I'm taking it into account too. I'm asking why would I think it though? We understand we took it into account. That just means because that we, we don't have, have anything to take in, into account. What do you mean? Because Jesus is the only thing we we can take into account. We didn't have any other possibility to take into account. What do you mean we don't have any other possibilities? Are you talking about Jesus resurrecting? We have no other possibilities. To account for the fact he resurrected because that's just a lie right we've been over like a dozen times how i offered a plethora of different possibilities so now you're just lying to my face again wizard alien um like i don't know why i have to keep repeating myself if these if jesus was a wizard and he desired to lie about being the son of god and he could just do magical things then we would also expect he can do the same facts that also accommodates the data that would explain how Jesus can heal a blind man because he has magic. It would explain how he resurrected. He has magic powers. And he's lying about being the son of God. So but if he's what I'm lying about being the son of God, he can perform all those acts. But what I'm asking you is what are those wizards that you consider to have superpower? Because based on my understanding that I would... What do you mean? What are those wizards? Those wizards who have supernatural that can that can that can have that have power to stop the, the weather, the creation. I don't understand what your question is though because you said these people they might have superpower and can have control over this yes jesus can be a wizard that can explain why he does miracles look in fiction we would agree that wizards can do magic right yes yes so in fiction wizards can do miraculous events 
We all, we also agree on that. So if Jesus was a wizard, he would also do miraculous events. And you said the reason I think Jesus is God is because he did miraculous events. But no, that doesn't follow because if Jesus was also a wizard, he can also do miraculous events. Right? So that doesn't mean that if he does miraculous events, that it's God. Because God's not the only thing that can do miraculous events. It could be a wizard. It can be an alien with advanced technology. It can be a number of different things. So I'm asking, why would I think it's God? Um, I, I look if 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 God is the only thing that created it, I don't believe the I don't I will not take in the other possibilities. No, you're trying to infer. Don't again. Don't question back God into existence. You're trying to infer from the fact Jesus done miracles that to, he's then God, right? Not that God exists and God's explaining it, right? That's just question begging. You're trying to get from the fact. I asked you why I believe that God exists, and in the dialectic, the last step we got to in your reasoning is if Jesus did miracles, then God exists. That's what you said. Then I said, okay, granted he did miracles, why would I think he's then God? Then you said God's the only explanation. I showed you how it's not. Now I'm trying to understand why would I think it's God given there's a number of other explanations. We can, we can infer because we are trying to make sense of this thing since we can't prove anything. Yeah, I'm We're just saying how are you inferring that it's God? That's what I've been asking. Because we we said there is God who created and there is there's a, no. A, I'm not granting you there's God. I'm not granting that. That's what you're. That's the conclusion of your argument. Th this whole train of reasoning that's been the conversation where I kept asking why would I think this if that was that's your chain of reasoning that gets to the conclusion God exists. That and the last step you said that there is is that. Okay, I'm he hearing an echo. The last step you got to is that Jesus resurrect or Jesus done miracles. I'm asking why would I think if he done miracles God exists. If Jesus was a wizard, he would, he can also do miracles. Mm. Yeah, we can say that, but I am taking it. Yeah, as so a, why would I think it's God over wizardry? It might be a wizard, but um, yeah, but you you believe that it's God that over? Not. Look, unless you have an unjust of unjustified or rational belief that it's God, then you would have to give me a good satisfactory reason. I think. That it's God and not a wizard. If you don't have that reason to offer, then that just means you irrationally believe it's God. Now, look, if Jesus no, did miracles, that's compatible to... with him being a wizard. How can it be? How can be? How can it be compatible? Because if, if Jesus was a wizard, person... Jesus can perform miracles. Jesus performed miracles, and we can then say, so then it's possible Jesus is a wizard. But how can it be compatible if this is just an accident? It can't if be compatible. Just an accident. If the universe is an accident, how could it be compatible with God can and cannot it, do? What do you mean the universe is an accident? What does that mean? One matter energy. There was singularity. And it was still expanding. It's, it's just... Isn't it an accident? I don't know what you mean by the universe is an accident. What is, I don't know what that means. What does it mean for the universe to be an accident? Are you just, by a universe being an accident, do you just mean God doesn't explain the existence of the universe? Because if God doesn't explain the existence of the universe, then again, yeah, we can have Jesus performing miracles and no God created the universe. Right? If Jesus was a wizard. Right? You're trying to get from the fact Jesus performed miracles to God exists. Oh, I, I, see, I see what you're saying. Mood. So you there so you in that in that same line of thinking you would say there is another possibility outside of this earth that that might perform something that would be compatible to 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 what God can do Do you understand what it, do you understand the concept of datum and a hypothesis a hypothesis is an educated guess of something. A hypothesis is supposed to be um, an explanon, and an explanon is something that accommodates the data. So look, let's say we found um, a ball on Mars. Now there's multiple explanations or hypotheses that explain that data. One is that the last time an astronaut went to Mars, he brought a ball and dropped it on, on Mars. So the next time an astronaut has it, we have the datum that that ball is on Mars. Another hypothesis is that it's aliens, that aliens made the ball and that 
that was one of the balls one of the alien kids left out or something right we have two hypotheses if you believe that it was aliens that explained the data that the hypothesis is an alien ball what you would have to give me reason to believe that right it's the only there's not one possibility there it can also be that just like the way celestial bodies were formed this this ball was formed just like a celestial body or an asteroid and it's just a natural object on the planet that appears like a ball, like a, a humanly creation. So there's three hypotheses. It's just a natural object that doesn't have an agent explaining it. It was dropped by the last astronaut. It was made by an alien. And we can keep making other ones. There's Mars fairies. There's fairies from Mars that made it with magic. Um, you know, th we can just keep making different hypotheses to accommodate the data, right? Different hypotheses. Now, what? Now, which one actually explains the data is the true explanation. Now, you're saying that in the case of Jesus, when we have a set of competitive hypotheses in the sample space, that the successive competitor is the God hypothesis. And I'm asking, why would I believe that? You'd have to give independent motivation to think that. Now, even if we don't have independent motivation to think it's God, go ahead. So what if this possibility like, is, is um, going alongside with what, with what, have, what has been said in the in the past by a creator by by creation for example there is something yeah, I that, you that. Like, i granted you that it's it's consistent with what the bible is saying that's still not reason to think that jesus is god right again that's compatible with jesus being a deceitful wizard so if, if you, jesus if was you, a deceitful wizard all this you're just building up the luck right if you're if the you're, luck what is that oh my goodness maybe this is just my intuition but it's the luck. I don't know what you're saying. Luck meaning, um, and look, when when something collides, when the 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 by there would be created something due to the fact that they collided, and if that process kept going, with the same fact, like with the with the with with that same substance, and not with other, like it's just building up. I don't know what you're talking about right now. I thought you were defining. You said that I was building up luck, and I asked, what does it mean to build up luck? I thought, and then you said chemicals or substances combining. By building up luck, you, you're talking about some, like, some type of chemistry integration or something? What? Some set of chemicals combining, mixing? I don't know what you're saying right now. Okay, and no, I, nothing I said I, had to I do with chemicals mixing. I was referring to the fact that we evolved into the into a higher order, and we wouldn't fall apart at some point. It kept going because it was it was possibility. All right, I'm gonna just move to the next guest. There's like six other people in the guest box. How do you for... respond to this, by the way? What about uh, encounter having encounter with Jesus Christ about spatial revelation and exorcism? Every religion has those accounts. Exorcism and encounter. Almost every religion has a spiritual encounter anecdote. Get, and I don't know why I would think anecdotes are evidence. A a anecdotes are not evidence in Plicator. Giving a report of, of events isn't evidence. That could be fabricated. The way it's used in jurisprudence when you talk about legal legal norms, there's actually very strong evaluation that goes into whether anecdote or testimony is considered evidence. Testimony in Plicator is just assertion. It's not evidence ever. right? Because if you understand what evidence is, evidence is some datum condition on a hypothesis that raises the probability raises the probability of the hypothesis now the assertions don't raise probability right they don't have like probabilistic input because they're not in, an induction an assertion is not an induction right evidence is inductive now there's cases in which assertions can act as inductive elements assertions simplicator are never inductive uh, inductive input so why would i care if uh, everyone on the earth other than me can tell me they have an experience with um with, I don't know, a unicorn. It's not reason then to think that, that there's actually unicorns. Why would I think that from the set of people saying that? Because the majority of people are referring to the same type of God, to the same type of being. That's not true. They are. A non-believer, I have seen that happening. In, there's, in, a number, there's a number of different religions that refer to different gods in their experience. In fact, every yeah. time someone had experience, it was almost... It was almost always the God that they've already believed in. Like who? Muslims believed in Allah. They had experiences of revelation by Allah. Christians of um, their God, Yeshua or whatever. And then whatever Muhammad other gods the you can throw in the batch. 
as long as as long as I know, no, I'm there's sure. a number of Muslims that have testimony of having experiences with God. That is not true. In fact, mean, there are millions. You can search it up yourself on the internet. I mean, in you, fact, you, I've had. In fact, you can go on my YouTube, or I don't know how long you've been on TikTok, but the number of Muslims have, who've gave me their anecdote as arguments to believe in God is astounding. So the fact you are unconvinced, I don't know if you just entered the philosophy of religion space and you never actually argued with a Muslim, but I, I've talked with literally hundreds of Muslims who said the reason they believe in God is because God revealed them to him. That they are, some said they were atheists and then Allah had came to them and revealed themselves. So a bunch of bullshit that is pretty much what you're doing. I don't know how you think Christianity is the only religion that gave reports of their, their deity existing. That's actually insane. You must live under a rock. I don't know a single religion that hasn't had the same. But okay, whatever. Yeah, that's I don't I don't see why I would think people saying they had spiritual experiences is a reason I think. In fact, that again, that can just be explained. Look, if God revealed himself to me, the the phenomenal experience of the event can be explained by a hallucination too. In fact, we have inductive support that's a, a hallucination and not God. So actually you ought believe that these experiences are hallucination epistemically. So if you're consistent yeah. with yourself, even if God re revealed Himself to you, like clearly you wouldn't, you would take it as a possibility too, right? If you're stipulating it is God, look. If I look, if there was the event of Jesus coming right in front of me through my ceiling, telling me He's the Son of God and said, "Come to me, child," or something like that, I wouldn't have reason to think that's God. Wow. If you're saying that somehow, because why would I believe it's God? Why would I think it's God over a hallucination? Why would I think that? I have inductive support that's a hallucination. It's likely events like these, a dude coming through my ceiling saying he's the son of God, events like that are not common. Those are more common with people who have mental illness and, and experience delusion. So it's more likely that that's, because there's evidence that there's delusion. What if he, he came down to your face? It, it still might be a possibility. Yeah, of course, it's a possibility. You're consistent with it, you're just going to... to, to... To, like, what, you think it's not a possibility all of a sudden because he came to me? It's not guaranteed that he's the, he's the son of God because he's saying it to me. I have the spirit, no, experience of a dude. And that's, yeah, that's, why would I think he's God? Is the, is the thing I've been asking. Because he was able to, to, to control, to have control over this universe that you, you are byproduct by. Like this, this universe. We're talking about if a dude came through my ceiling, he looked like Jesus and said, come to me, child. That he said what, he's the son of the God. Universe, Why would I think that, that that is God actually talking to me? Look, isn't the universe creating you that is making you think the way you think, like God is a possibility? Then if he has a, a control over the universe that made you think that way, then I would believe he is God. I don't know what you're saying right now. You're creating a possibility, right? Mm -hmm. Because there is no God. But if you're thinking that way, as a byproduct of this universe that created you, if the God that revealed himself to you performed this miracle and showed you that he have power of, over the universe. You're just saying if God exists and God, look, you're just saying if it's God, then it's God. Yeah, if it was God doing it, it would be God. No, but if you're if, consistent with your with your belief, it's it's not you're you still. I am consistent with my you're belief. Not gonna, you're not going to be. You're not going to continue. It's going to go infinitely. It's going to be possibility, even if you take you with heaven. What? Even if he takes you to heaven, you're still going to be. You're still, you're still going to think that he he is just possibility. Yeah. Based on being a it, byproduct it, of the. Even universe. if it were God, it would still be possibility. Yes. Like trivially, what do you mean? I don't think in, in in English. I don't think I'll be able to show you what I am thinking. But okay. I'll translate this later. But we couldn't. We, you, you couldn't. Under, you didn't understand the, the thing that I've been saying the whole time. But, okay, but no, I don't think you understand anything I was saying. In fact, I don't think you understand how inductive reasoning works at all, or what it means for an argument to be valid. Because all you've done, or I mean, sorry, an argument for not to not be question begging. It seems like you don't understand how to give non-fallacious reasonings. Like you speak so many times, you gave question be question be begging reasons, and then you would say. You said like at least six times. That's presupposing God exists. Why would I presuppose God exists? You're supposed to infer from facts that God exists. I'm not going to know. That makes no sense. Well, 
the reason I believe God exists hinges on me having to presuppose God exists. Of course, if I presuppose God exists, I, from, just from the presupposition, I can infer God exists. I'm not. The point is, I don't have reason to believe God exists. I'm not going to presuppose it. Right? Well, I'm a rational why? agent. I aim to believe true things. A presupposition is irrational. Why is possibility? What does that even mean? Possibility is not a proposition. Uh, what What does believe even possibility mean? He might not be God. He might not even if you come down to my face. It is. It is look, what? Are you stupid or something? Look, obviously there's possibility. It's not guaranteed. It's one thing. There's a number of things that can explain it. Like, look, again, in the example where there's a ball on, on Mars, it's not aliens. It's not, why, why would you think it's possibly an astronaut who dropped it on Mars? Or why would you possibly think it was just naturally formed? Or what? Like, what? Because those are things that can explain the fact. There's no reason to think it's aliens. Of course, there's other possibilities that explain the same fact. There's other possibilities because, for how this because, fact is. Because you said Jesus at the Christ. beginning, uh, whatever the word but just is. Just have a nice day. I'm going to move to my next guest. This guy's, like, incredibly slow.